I took this sign to a local park today to ask people around the community what they thought in response to the tragedy that occurred in Uvalde yesterday afternoon. Ashley Yabra. Can you spell it for me so I can get it right? A-U-S-H-A-L-A-Y-Y-A-R-B-R-O-U-G-H. Perfect. And then, you know, in light of what occurred in Uvalde yesterday, can you just give some thoughts or anything you'd like to speak about? Yes, it's very sad and I, I'm talking to you, right? Yeah, yeah. It's very sad because I feel like it's happening more and more. Like, it's getting to a point where it needs to stop, but it's still happening and it's just sad for the parents sending them to school in the morning and not even thinking about them not getting to come home that day. And I feel like it has to stop. I don't know what we could change to make it stop, but I feel like it has to stop. And then real quick, you mentioned kind of, you know, when you have kids, something that you'll be thinking about. You want to talk about that a little bit? Um, just future parents or people that are um, expecting right now, I feel like they're looking at the situation like, you know, it's messed up because it makes them more nervous to want to send their child to school. I was even considering like homeschool or something, you know, something that could maybe possibly change the circumstances of what's happening now, but who knows, you never know when it could happen or be your family. So we just have to be grateful that it isn't us nowadays. Absolutely. Um, anything else you'd like to mention to close out just about this or about your thoughts or anything? Um, I just want to say sending love to all the parents and families that are out there losing their kids that they wouldn't even expect to lose, um, that didn't have a chance to even grow up and live life and, you know, praying that it gets better. Sure. Uh, my name is Helena Ragsdale. Could you spell it for me so I can get it right? H-E-L-E-N-A and R-A-G-S-D-A-L-E. All right, so just to begin speaking about the in light of Uvalde and what happened there yesterday, just any kind of thoughts you'd like to give about it to begin? Yeah, um, as I mentioned earlier, I grew up in the 90s and I was in high school when the Columbine shooting happened and uh, these things were becoming more and more frequent back then, but not to the level or the, you know, the scale that they are these days. I mean, my kids have to, they're, they were both school age very recently. My daughter's 19 and my son is eight. And, you know, like back in World War II, people were practicing hiding under their desk for <laughs> atomic bombs, which we learned that doesn't do anything. And now I feel like kind of we're doing the same thing. We're hiding under our desks, you know. I mean, these are literally kids, and, um, and I don't want to polarize it or politicize it. I just want to say, you know, that I'm so sorry to those families because my kids have to practice gun shooter, you know, drills at school. And um, my daughter's actually been in um, situations at school where, you know, they didn't know if it was real or not or if it was a drill, you know, and it's, it's a very frightening prospect that it could literally happen anywhere at any time. And so that's, that's what I wanted to say, is that my heart goes out to them and I, I try to do everything I can to be an advocate for mental health awareness and, you know, having dealt with my own issues and it's, it's paramount for people to you know, stop the stigma and go get checked and, and you know, look around you, pay attention to what people are doing. And maybe somewhere along the way we can grow and stop all this. Because they're just babies and those teachers didn't deserve it either. You know? And it's, it's heartbreaking that it happens anywhere but that it's in my home state. And then, of course, to make it even tougher having, you know, you said you have a daughter in school right now. So it well, yeah, she like actually that. graduated last year. Uh, my yeah. son is, is school age, and he's about to go into the third grade. I mean, these were, you know, fourth graders. And it's, I mean, it, it's, it's something that is inhumane. And, and I don't know, people throw around the word evil, but I just, I, I can't help but feel for whatever drove that young man to do that, you know, whatever, whatever it was, a demon or mental illness, it's the same difference at the end of the day. Anything you know? else you'd like to mention before we end? Just, I, uh, I would love to see a world where love was the currency. That's it. My name is Sarah Jones. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, 
Could you just spell it Sarah to make sure I'm getting the right one? Yes, S-A-R-A-H. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then Sarah, just in light of what happened in Uvalde yesterday, could you just kind of go over a little bit just how you feel, just your thoughts after this? Um, so I feel very hurt. This did affect me more than I thought it would just because I have lost two children of my own. So just thinking about those parents and how they may feel, you know, sending them to a safe place so they thought and then not being able to get their kids back um, has kind of reminded me of what I went through. But really my thoughts right now, my heart is really felt up for those parents. And if I could speak to one of them or any of them, I would tell them that I'm praying for them, that God would comfort them. And that even in the midst of all the confusion and frustration that they may be feeling, that if they would reach out to God, that know that he will comfort them. You know, that's the only person truly that can mend a broken heart is God. So that's just my thoughts right now. My prayers are going out to all of those families, even the teacher that passed away as well. You know, it really is sad and you never, you never know what's gonna take place. So that's why we have to live life, <laughs> um, enjoy life while we have it, enjoy our babies, our family members, you know, that God has blessed us to have because at any moment it could change. Mm -hmm. Would you say that there's anything that needs to change or that you would inspire change to the for events like this to stop happening? Um, honestly, I am not sure just because different situations require different solutions. But I would say, just because I am a woman of faith, I would say that bringing prayer back in the homes, back in the families, you know, re um, reiterating God back into the families, I believe it would make a change because growing up having that, someone to go to, I'm not sure about that young man, what was going on in his life, what situation he may have been brought up in. Maybe you felt like he didn't have an outlet, uh, uh, outlet for that type of behavior. But just having that in the home, I do think that it does make a difference. It's not a guarantee that someone won't wind up a certain way, but to know that you did teach them right and wrong will also make a difference. I believe that wholeheartedly. Absolutely. Anything mm -hmm. else that you'd like to mention in closing just about the event or how you feel, anything? Um, just would encourage the parents um, that have seen that to not be discouraged um, and to not be fearful because fear is a weapon um, and to just believe and trust God, you know, that he will keep them. Um, and that, you know, get up every morning, take your kids to school, enjoy your kids. You know, this should push you to want to be more active with your kids and want to be more active with your family. Um, and just to be in prayer as well for those parents, you know, who have lost someone and those whole families, not just the parents. I'm sure many people have been affected, even the kids um, that were there. You never know what they saw or what they didn't see or how that's affecting them. So just praying for them. Yeah. Hmm? I'm Wyatt Lawson. All right, can you spell it out for me so I can get it yes. right? Uh, W-Y-A-T-T -T and then L-A-W-S-O-N. Got it. And then same for you. I'm Takiera Davis, T-Y-K-E-Y-A-I-R-A-H. All right, and then today we're just kind of giving you guys the opportunity to speak about, you know, what your feelings were to start off in light of what occurred in Uvalde yesterday. Okay. Well, okay, first my friend told me at school, and at first I was a little bit shocked because when she first told me, she said it was just like a few kids. But then, like, I actually looked it up and it was a lot of people. And I was like, damn. I mean, it's just kind of just, like, sad because like it happened so many times and it's like but this time it was like a lot of kids and it was just like wow do you know what like why he did it i don't know much about it i just know that like there were like 14 people who died there were a lot of kids yeah it's after like 21 now yeah oh yeah, wow. yeah I don't, i'm not sure exactly what his motive or anything was but yeah it's just I mean, i heard about it um one of my friends were talking about it and then i saw it on the internet and I was just reading more about it and it kind of scared me because, you know, it's in Texas and I have little siblings that go to school too, so it kind of scared me too. I was just thinking about it because it's a horrible thing. Because we did have a lockdown at the school. Yeah. I don't know if it was for that or if it was just a random lockdown that day, but we had a lockdown when it happened. And I mean, you guys are fairly young too, so I mean, you've been going through school as well, so seeing something like this. I mean, especially you said you have siblings in yeah. school as well. You know, how, how do you guys feel about this, especially being in school or just getting out of school? It's kind of terrifying for me. Yeah, because like you yeah. never know if it could happen to your school. Like you never think like, oh, it's gonna happen to my school. So it's just like you kind of just have to hope every day that like you know no one comes here and does that awful thing to you. And it's just really sad that it happens to other places, and you kind of feel like you can't do anything. Cause it's just like I don't know. It's just really sad. You know, I don't know how prepared I would be to hear like 
there was a shooting at Andy Woods, which is where my little sister and brother goes. Like, I don't know what I would do, what the situation would be. I'd just kind of freak out and wouldn't know what to do. Is there anything that you guys would say or think need a change to make stuff like this, you know, not happen again or anything that you guys think of off the bat? I say not make it so easy to get guns, like for young people. Like, the friend who told me said, I think you can get a gun when you're 18, is it? Yeah, in Texas yes. now, yeah. I think they should change that law. Because, I mean, like, the adults still do it too, but, like, I don't think, like, teenagers should be having guns. Because that's just too young. Mm-hmm. And they can do mm-hmm. reckless things like this. I just think that there should be more protection around the schools to be more prepared for it. Because, I mean, it's not anything new. It's happened before, so it needs to be more protection. I see some of the local school districts today have added, you know, like an armed officer in front of school. Some are thinking about doing that. Is that something you guys would, um, you know, coming into school, if you're coming to high school and everything, is that something you guys would feel comfortable with or something that you think would make you more safe or anything else that you think you would do instead? Yeah, I think it would make me feel more safe, like knowing that they're here to like keep us safe. And like, obviously we don't have any weapons or anything, so we have nothing to worry about. So I'd be fine with it. Yeah. yeah. And being in school, is there anything else, you know, other than that that you think might help either for peace of mind or for safety for students, anything like that? Mm. Especially for, if you're talking about younger kids too in elementary school, like where this happened, you know? I'd just say, maybe like try to be nice to other students and not bully, because maybe he was bullied or something for the reason. But just say like, don't mess with people and try to be nice to everyone and just stay safe, I guess. You know, be more open-minded and let people talk about their feelings more, maybe. And not, you know, act like it's something bad to express your feelings, because it's not. Yeah. Um, In closing, any other thoughts you guys have just about this or about anything else regarding this? Mm -hmm. None that I can think of. Be safe, be kind. Don't threaten people. (laughs) Don't try to like make jokes about this because it's really actually sad. Yeah. So. Makaya Irvin, M A K E I Y A E R V I N. And then, just talking about what happened yesterday in Uvalde, just any thoughts to begin with, just what your initial thoughts were, mm-hmm. anything going forward? Um, I think it's very sad and unbelievable that something like that happened to children, that innocent children at that. It's just very sad. And then a lot of people, especially, you never think it's going to happen, mm-hmm. and especially so close to you. And this, being yeah. in the same state here in Texas, you know, how does that really make you feel that it's, you know, that close? It's scary, you know, because you never know what's going to happen and know that it's going to happen to us. It could happen to us. And going forward, is there anything that you think need to change for, you know, kids to be safe or anything for this not to happen again? Um, I think, like, better safety in school like practicing lockdown drills and better security and things like that so some uh school districts today are adding some extra security stuff like that and looking at maybe doing that for the next school year Mm -hmm. is that something you know as a student that would make you uh feel safe you peace of mind or you think there's anything else or you know it would yeah that's something that would definitely help making us feel safer um Anything else that you'd like to mention just about the event that happened or your thoughts, emotions, anything of that sort? Um, I'm sending prayers to the families of those who lost someone.